Our camera stands are jiggling a little bit. As Tom Stafford and Gene Cernan ride over to pad 19 from the suit-up van over on pad 16, they go past a big area about the size of three football fields where they would land if they had to eject from the spacecraft while it's still on the pad. Three armored personnel carriers run around that field like hot rod tanks ready just in case. And out at sea in an area roughly 15 miles wide and 47 miles to the east, a small flotilla of boats, Navy, Marine Corps boats, even Air Force boats, waits for that same purpose while rescue helicopters hover overhead. Of course, we hope it won't ever be necessary, but there are ships and planes and armored personnel carriers ready just in case. And this morning, there's an extra Navy ship in that area, the newly commissioned nuclear submarine James K. Polk, which has just put out to sea to launch her first practice missile. Her skipper, uh, Commander Bob Douglas, plans to stay up on the surface until after the launch so he can watch the bird fly over. Well, of course, this is Tom Stafford's sixth trip over here, as has been duly mentioned many times. He's been in space once. He and Gene Cernan have been over here three times on this Gemini 9 mission. What perhaps has been forgotten is that this is the 13th manned space flight. Six in the Mercury program, six in the Gemini program until now. But lest that number 13 concern you, remember that there's another well-known saying, third time's a charm. And this is the third time that Tom and Gene Cernan will be going up the elevator here on the gantry at pad 19. The transfer van arrives. Deke Slayton, of course, the first out. And then Tom Stafford. And behind him, Gene Cernan. As they give the thumbs up, the smiles, the happy, the happy sides. Let's uh, give them a shake of the hand this time. Give them our own handshake for luck. There's a notice in the elevator that says, Tom and Gene, notice the down capability for this elevator has been removed. Make this a good one. Your spacecraft crew. And up it goes, that 30-second ride up to the 100-foot level in the white room where they'll be greeted by another sign hanging over the spacecraft, a poem written by Jim Lovell and Buzz Aldrin, the backup crew. The poem says, we were kidding before, but not anymore. Get yourselves into space or we'll take your place. Jim Lovell has been, uh, we understand, kidding quite a little bit with uh, Tom and Gene Cernan about this, suggesting to Gene that uh, he, Jim, and Gene gang up and switch places, kick Tom out. But Tom Stafford wants to go on this mission. He wants desperately to get up there and perform more than just a simple rendezvous and docking, wants to perform some extra maneuvers, wants to make sure it's a good mission all the way. And I'm sure that... This time, today, he's just as eager as would be any good test pilot that this be an on-time launch and that rendezvous and docking be achieved on the third revolution with the augmented target docking adapter. So there they are. They're in the spacecraft. They're getting into the spacecraft now and ready to go about two hours from now. This is Steve Bowen at Pad 19.